There are two methods to creating cadenzas in Finale, the position notes evenly method and the time signature method. Let's walk through each of these to see which one works for you. Starting with the position notes evenly method, first select the measure tool, then double click the bar line handle to the right of the cadenza measure. At the bottom of this window, select position notes evenly across measure. If you want to hide the ending bar line, click the invisible bar line option. Press OK to apply. Next, we'll go ahead and enter our notes using the speedy entry tool. Before entering your notes, make sure you've turned off jump to next measure in the speedy menu. While you're entering your notes, you can use the forward slash key to create or break beams. Once you've entered all the notes you'd like to for this measure, press enter and this menu should pop up. Be sure to select leave the measure alone, then press OK to apply. To make this cadenza measure fill the whole system, simply use the selection tool, select the next measure, then press the down arrow key. Next, let's use the time signature method. First, select the time signature tool, then double click the cadenza measure. In the box next to number of beats, enter the total number of beats in the cadenza. For example, it could be a 54 over 4 measure. Press OK to apply. Then select the measure tool. Double click the bar line handle of the cadenza measure. Then choose time signature, always hide. You can also hide cautionary clefts, keys, and time signatures if they are appearing in the measure before. Press OK to apply. Now you can enter your cadenza notes. There you have it.